guys, today I will show you ridiculous legendary build with freaking 500% shield health regen. In real life it looks pretty much like this when everyone and everybody is trying to deal damage to you but at the end you're gonna laugh it off and you're gonna gain even more shield health. It's absolutely nuts and if you thought that if you're gonna use small shield you will get headshot damage or any damage in general, I will debunk this BS so as usual welcome to Butcherland. And if you are new here, hey bastard, welcome to the family, hit that like, smash that sub, don't be this dude who is laying on the floor doing nothing, come on man, you are better than this. And guys, just like I said at my intro, check where all the bullets is going, to my freaking face, to my face, to my beautiful face, but if you're gonna notice one small thing, my shield or excuse me, my health bar is not moving anywhere and this is how I will prove to you that once you will activate your buffs or immunity to damage even though I'm using small shield nothing and nobody will deal damage to me it's absolutely insane so headshot damage is basically locked out unfortunately this is not the case to deflector shield with that bad boy you will receive incoming damage to your face but with normal one and bulwark shield you are solid only annoying thing is those rushers who will try to flank you and shoot in your ass but if you're gonna play smart come on there is nothing much to worry about and you can carry anybody through legendary difficulty you can play in solo with teammate or in full group doesn't matter you will give buffs to your teammates and you will be simply immortal you can run around with your without your shield and guys to put everything in perspective half of your gameplay you will be completely immune to damage hear me out don't kill me in comment section once in a minute you can activate overcharge and that overcharge will be for your shield active for 15 seconds so the algorithm is really really simple here first of all you will pull your shield you will activate vanguard that means you have five second immunity to damage after that you're gonna throw grenade you will activate overcharge and you will have again 15 seconds after that you will pull your shield once more you have again five seconds of immunity you get the point but before we continue i just want to let you know that we have some sponsor ads and guys if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game then deviant.net is set for you they have absolutely amazing team on consoles they will complete your order twice as fast everything happens with account sharing these guys can be trusted, they have tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself, but now with my promo code RBDIP, you will have 15% discount on all services. These guys are updating their prices basically daily, so definitely check them out, and if you have any questions, please feel free to type your message, and the operator will reply immediately. So let's get back to my immortality secret on legendary difficulty and trust me this is out of the box build you have never seen something quite like this and i'm kind of proud of myself to creating this setup so like i said before in one minute you will have two one guard talent procs and one overcharge so in 60 seconds 25 seconds will be completely immune to damage and that's basically half minute. So 50% of the time, if you're gonna play correct way, 50% of your gameplay, you will be basically immune to damage. And then you have 100% shield health regen or repair with one artificial hive charge. That's insane, guys. And with e within each seven seconds, you will get one charge. After 7 seconds you'll receive one charge which is gonna heal you by 100% So in uh, that or in those 30 seconds which are left without immunity You have 3 charges which are gonna heal your shield 100% fully That's absolutely insane In this game there is nothing and nobody that can deal such amount of damage to take you down it's simple as that man like i said first of all you will pull your shield you will activate vanguard five second immunity you will give bonus armor to your teammates after that you're gonna throw grenades maybe you will stop chungus with it or stop dogs you will create 15 second overcharge to yourself 
and that will give you already 20 seconds of immune shield and after that you're gonna proc one more time vanguard and now you have 25 seconds of immunity and guys if you want to be updated all the best hybrid builds out of the box builds just like this one hit that like smash that sub and first things first we're gonna rock with technician specialization and main thing here guys please apply healing efficiency you saw my technician specialization tree immediately if you're gonna put increased healing in technician specialization skill tree our skill reaper is moved up to up to 80 percent previously it was 77 and now it's 80 percent technician specialization will provide you with extra skill tier disrupt grenades which are really handy and pretty much you can use this rocket launcher to destroy those annoying healing boxes on the ground just destroy those those healing boxes aim those bastards down and you will make your life much more easier on legendary difficulty on heroic difficulty i am recommending you to use to use exotic assault rifle chameleon this bad boy has adaptive instincts talent and once you will proc it, it's game over 90% weapon damage 50% crit damage boost and crit chance oh my goodness on heroic difficulty you're gonna shred everybody you don't really need much more damage on heroic difficulty come on it's heroic difficulty it's not that hard but for legendary difficulty I strongly recommend you to stick with exotic Scorpio shotgun not only you will apply huge amount of status effects but you are gonna stop whole battlefield and on top of that those enemies who will receive all stacks from your shotgun will receive by 20% more incoming damage that works with your teammates and with your damage as well so keep that in mind and like I said with this build you can run without shield as well since we have protection from elites and armor regen which are healing us non-stop of course you could use memento backpack but no 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 in this build i have little dirty secret this build is completely out of the box and yeah it depends what you need or on your playstyle but like i said you should use uh, for heroic chameleon for legendary scorpion as my secondary weapon I'm using police m4 with reformation talent and once you will deal that headshot you'll receive 30% extra skill repair and that will bring us to more than 100% skill repair with one charge and you can see immediately the difference without reformation talent I couldn't heal my shield fully and now with reformation active boom 100% shield held back baby this is how we can get reaper skill at its maximum without any gear that gives us reaper skill and without any actual boosts or overcharges and guys it's super freaking dope synergy but like i'm showing you right now like i said before as well my one charge will heal my shield by 80 percent and i will receive this one charge with seven second separation so after each seven seconds i will heal my shield and i'm not talking about that half minute of immunity or in immortality <laughs> that's absolutely not in this game there is nothing and nobody that can deal such amount of damage that could take you down in seven seconds none especially with scorpio shotgun when you're gonna debuff every enemy on battlefield and with your disrupt grenades you will up stop dogs and so on you got the point for pistol i'm using orbit just kill non elite enemy and you will receive crit chance and crit damage boost for my mask i'm using new chill out mask which we received with title update 14 i'm using everywhere reaper skill and main thing with this mask is right now it's bugged out with next patch this mask will be part of Gilagard gear set so one or this mask particularly will give us five percent bonus armor and that will make this build even more stronger because boulevard gear set is giving me 10 percent and that will scale from Gilagard mask as well so we can have it perfect build almost two million armor that's absolutely insane and that works again really well with vanguard talent my pieces are not optimized you see i could get better reaper skill 
armor, but like I said, with reformation talent, I will have more than 100% reaper skill with my artificial hive. And once I will proc my overcharge, I will have again more than 100% reaper skill. And you don't need more than 100%, you have to hit that mark. That's it, you have to hit that cap, that's it, game over. For chess piece, I'm using Vanguard talent, it's absolutely dope for team play. Like I said, synergy here is absolutely amazing. 50% of your gameplay, you will be completely immune to damage. Like I said, first of all, you will pull your Vanguard or you will activate Vanguard talent, 5 seconds immunity. After that, you will throw your grenade, that's 15 seconds of overcharge, that's completely immunity again, so 20 seconds in a row you are immune. And by that time, your Vanguard talent cooldown will be over and you can proc it one more time and you have basically 25-30 seconds of immunity. And that's in one minute window, so if you're gonna play properly, each minute you will have 30 seconds of immunity since overcharge cooldown here is only 60 seconds so every time in each minute you can proc one overcharge after one minute one overcharge after each one minute overcharge and in between that window or time window you can activate two vanguard talents just look out i threw my grenade and i received immediately overcharge to my shield and my artificial hive is repairing me with more than 100% skill reaper. Synergy absolutely insane, but the most insane part that I have huge amount of grenades. And once, once I will activate my overcharge, those grenades will be refilled to me back. And man, I have never run out of grenades during my legendary run. That's completely insane since you can stop dogs non-stop. You will activate overcharge. You can use damage grenades. Simply switch disrupt grenades for typical explosive grenade and that's game over. Then I'm using three pieces from Bulwark that is giving me total armor, 10% armor bonus from two piece brand set and a third piece brand set bonus is shield health and 1% armor regen and that gives me 2% armor regen in total. That works really well since <laughs> I'm not getting any damage whatsoever but if somebody will flank me I have some options now, and like I said, oh my goodness, this build is super dope, out of the box, I think you have never seen something quite like this, I just love to kick new year with build which is never done before, I'm pretty goddamn excited, and if you liked what you saw, hit that like, smash that sub, and see you in the next one, bye!